guys, welcome to Siegel Middle School Distance Learning. We are your eighth grade science teachers. And you're gonna be hearing from all three of us this nine weeks. So we wanted to take a second and introduce ourselves all together. I'm Miss Hardiman, I am the 8B science teacher. I'm Miss Houston, I'm the 8C science teacher. And I'm Mr. Sykes, I'm the 8A science teacher. Hey guys, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about your bell work. Bell work is gonna be a part of your weekly grade. It's something that you can expect each week as you're distance learning. Um, so each week we have a format or a template here um, that you can download and print. And then as you're completing your lessons, you'll have a bell work question to complete each, uh, each day. If you do not have a printer at home or don't want to print this, it is just a template for you to use. So you can definitely do it on notebook paper. It's required either way, whether you print or you do it on notebook paper, you'll receive your grade based on correctness of your questions, not on what it's written on. At the end of each week, so every Friday, you are going to take a picture of your bell work, whether it's this template or your notebook paper, and then submit that through Kidum. So every single day, you're going to start off by logging into Kidum. Kidum is where you're going to find all of your assignments. It's also going to be where we take attendance for you. Kidum can be accessed by logging into Clever using your RCS username and password. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your materials that you're needing for science. So you should have a folder. It can be a plastic folder or a paper folder, and it doesn't have to have prongs in it, but it can. Um, this is going to be where you're going to keep your bell work and any lab sheets or things that we're working on during class. And then you should have a separate comp book that you're using just for science class. And we are going to set these composition books up with you. That way you know what they should look like on the inside and on the outside. So we're going to post a video on how to do that next Thursday.